we have finally arrived at the men's plus 105 kilo open weight category at the IFA World Championships 2023. Let's find out who the biggest and baddest guys are. First up, we have Yako Bakma, South Africa at the 2023 National Championships in South Africa. He was uh, second place on the left and first place on the right in the Masters class. He did not participate in the seniors. Um, he is the Karma Bulldogs club president over in South Africa and at a tournament that the club held earlier this year, he got third place on the left and first place on the right in the open category. So pretty decent right hand placing, but we have to know that he is a Masters contender. He did not place in seniors at their national championships. And just because of that, um, I am not going to be putting him probably higher than a high dragon for both arms just because uh, we haven't really seen any international accolades by him on the uh, on the senior level. Next up, John Leach, New Zealand. This is the 2022 national second place on both right and left hand in New Zealand. Um, three time New Zealand national champion. Uh, and uh, saw him at over the top last year. He placed sixth on the left, 10th on the right in the 105 kilo category. So quite okay, but on the international level, we see that he's not um, the, among the top of the top, but pretty middle of the pack guy. I think still decent. I think he is a safe middle dragon tier kind of guy. And uh, that's where I'm gonna put both of his arms, even though I know that um, his, uh, his left hand does seem to do better than his right, but I just think that it's because of the level of competition. I just think he's a more balanced guy than most people. Next up, we have Pertu Sirkila, I think that's his name, uh, from Finland. He was the 2022 Youth European under 21, left hand second place, right hand first place. And then this year at the 2023 Euros, um, he was first place on left in the seniors and fourth place on the right in the seniors. Um, and of course, uh, that is actually pretty big, especially for his left hand, first place at European Championships on the left in the seniors class, that's a big deal. I think left hand at least, um, he should be uh, a low god tier at least, if he's gonna be able to get first place in the seniors class. Uh, right hand, maybe a mid dragon, um, might be a, a safe bet at this year's worlds he's not going to be participating in the youth category to my knowledge his name is not in the starting list uh, but he is still only 20 years old but he's going to be participating in seniors so that might be quite interesting for us to see um, next up we have robert nickel uh, united kingdom from ireland i think he was the 2022 world's masters category fourth on the left hand and ninth on the right hand um, in the seniors he only participated on the left and he was 10th so i'm inclined to believe that he's his left is much better than his right and because of his sort of iffy placing on the left hand in the seniors category i don't think this guy is going to be that dangerous uh, especially amongst all of these big guys and i also know that he was a he was labeled a novice contender at arm gods uh so uh probably right maybe a mid to high demon left maybe a low dragon just to give him the respect uh since he did compete at seniors on the left hand but yeah not gonna be any higher than that in fact i, I think i might be kind of generous with his tier right now but moving on next up we have esan mirafaza um, this guy, wow, big guy from Iran. He was the WAF 2022 uh, 15th place on left in the, the, the men's 110 plus kilo category and uh, eighth place on right. That is a really big deal. Eighth place, top eight on the right. Last year at King of Table, I got to see him live in action. He was second place at the King of Table International Series, only losing out to Sabin Badulescu and he beat Kamil Jablonski. Um, so yeah, eight time Iran national champion. This guy is super legit. I think he might be one of the, um, the, the top contenders for the number one spot in this class in this tournament. Uh, for his left, not gonna place him as high, but for his right hand, definitely at least a mid god level, I think. Um, left hand, I think either a high dragon or a low god 
would be appropriate. Uh, but right now, since I gave this junior guy a, a, a low god, I'm just going to put Essan there as well. Um, just to give him the benefit of the doubt. Next up, we have Alexander Cartwright from USA. He was the national champion on the right arm. Left arm, I didn't see any placing. I'm not sure if he took part in it or not, or if he did and he just didn't place. Uh, but yeah, just for the fact that he got a first place finish at USA IFA Nationals, um, which I hear is a very competitive tournament. Just gonna put his right arm in at least the same tier as Essan before that and uh, left hand since we don't really have any information uh, but I, I assume he's not trash I'm just gonna put him like right smack in the middle maybe middle dragon no idea if this is accurate or not but that's just uh, because of lack of information um, next up Jimmy Johansson from Sweden so in 2019 he was a junior second place on left and right and this year at the IFA Europeans he took part in under 21 youth category and he was first for both left and right so um, pretty legit guy in the juniors category he has not competed in seniors in any IFA event before but in his own country of Sweden he has medaled many times in pro level tournaments in the seniors category so knowing that Sweden is actually a pretty high level um, competitive nation for arm wrestling uh, and the fact that he is doing well in Sweden I think at least um, high dragon threat uh, just because he's a junior um, without that much international senior experience just gonna put him as a high dragon inclined to put him in the god tier but uh, yeah just because he hasn't had any seniors experience at the world level don't want to put him up there just yet um, next up we have Ahmad Fauzi Ahmad uh, from Malaysia uh, he was the 2023 national second on the left uh, third on the right but I know the level of competition in Malaysia and uh, I know the competitors who were at the nationals at that weight category I, I honestly think that Ahmad is a bit um, out of his league in this class uh, I don't think he's going to be doing very well most likely he's going to be last place unfortunately i think Ahmad is a low demon tier sorry but that's just how it is and for the next two guys they're only going to be competing on the right arm and next one wayne withers this is a guy that i think is going to be the favorite for this class on the right hand i think wayne withers probably has the biggest wins out of anyone in this tournament bracket uh, he's the current USA ranked number nine overall and uh, he has wins on people like Matt Mask, uh, Pavlo Debradenev, the list goes on very very powerful guy uh, there's no way that this guy is not a high god level threat Wayne Withers definitely high god threat and the last guy on the list James Chang from Taiwan honestly not that much information on this guy um, apparently Taiwan rank 3 I'm not even sure if I got the the correct guy um, no videos on this guy but rank 3 in Taiwan seems pretty decent I know the level of Taiwan is not super high but still pretty okay um, just inclined to put him as probably a high demon threat and there you have it guys Wow that is a wrap all the classes in the men's seniors category this took so much time so much effort and um, I know some of it might be biased but yeah just having fun just wanted to introduce you guys to some of the people that you're gonna see at the tournament hope you guys enjoyed this video series and see you guys at IFA Worlds 2023